guys my name is Haley, and welcome back to my channel imaginary mirror because i don't have the penguin or the jeffree star it has been a long long time since i have sat down and made a video i could go into detail about why but that is just not the important thing the most important thing is i plan to get back into the group of things and today i have a very special video we're going to be reviewing the conspiracy palette by jeffree star and Shane dawson and i am really excited about this because um it sold out in like what 20 minutes and i was actually lucky enough to grab at least this from the entire collection so i'm going to review this palette for you today i already went ahead and did my foundation eyebrows and everything you really can't see my eyebrows because my bangs awesome. <laughs> i got bangs it's been a lot since the last time i sat down and spoke to you guys so we're gonna be reviewing this palette and i hope you all are ready and as excited as i am because i am so excited i can't stop holding it and it's so pretty the original plan was for me to unbox it and everything on camera i ordered it off of more because I don't know I just feel like me going on the Jeffree Star website would have just been way too much I mean overall all the websites were like packed if you've been keeping up with the whole thing you know like every site that had the collection crashed and it was like horrible it was so scary and so nerve-wracking on whether or not you're gonna get the palette and luckily I did I'm so sorry if you cannot get the palette I know that was like a really big thing a lot of people couldn't get it that had it in their cart and I'm so sorry because I definitely can imagine how that felt because I was like literally about to start crying if I could not have gotten this palette without further ado enough rambling and we're gonna get right into this video many of you have already probably have seen like the packaging and everything for this palette since I did order mine from Morphe I didn't get it in like the really pretty tissue paper which is fine but it still did come in the actual unicart and it is this like spiraling black and white theme with gold that says conspiracy it's really nice and really cool and obviously most of you know that it slides out like this which this oh my gosh this is so freaking pretty first of all this is like my first ever like jeffree star palette where it's like the trunk um i don't have blue blood or blood sugar so this is like the first one so actually holding one like to feel how big it is it's like wow it's like literally the size of my head so it's a relatively large palette but not like overly big where it's like you can't store it i love it it's like kind of like a 3d type also when you look at it it kind of like goes inward the packaging is super sick and i really do love the packaging it's like so freaking cool and this piece right here that has shane dawson's logo it's like metal it's a really nice detail that they did on it who wouldn't love the packaging it's just really nice it has a nice weight to it so it feels like nice and luxurious we haven't even gotten to the shadows yet and i'm just like super obsessed over the packaging so it unhooks like this how else would it unhook and then we open it wow how freaking beautiful i love the colors so much um the top row i am a little bit concerned about just because how light the shades are but that's what we're here today to test so if you are a brown gal then you are probably definitely interested in seeing how these shades perform on a brown skin bit doll baby the palette is so pretty it is very different for my type of palette that i would buy because i'm really not usually like a big color person where i would buy something as abstract as this but it is so unique and i feel it's like really wearable and a lot of looks you can create from this palette i'm super super excited to dive in and of course the shade names are literally iconic they all pertain some way into Shane, and I literally love that. But first, we're gonna do like a couple of swatches. Not too many, because we're also gonna test on the eye. I think I might do a dramatic look and then a more natural look, just to give you a, you know, a little bit of an idea of like looks that you can kind of create from this palette, because you can create natural looks, and obviously with the amount of color, you can definitely create some dramatic looks as well. First, we're gonna do some swatches. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna swatch food videos first. I've seen some swatches online that they it looks really pretty. And then I've seen some where it's like, hmm, I don't know. So that's what it looks like so far. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand. Not 
bad it is like a really bright neon shade and you know it's expected oh yeah there we go it's expected to be kind of like chalky or whatever because you know colors like that are really hard to make so i'm not mad at it i mean it's really good i think the next shade that i that i'm going to swatch is the shade trisha Ooh, it feels so nice oh my god i literally probably swatched too much but here we go right beside food videos wow yeah she's really pretty yes i love that that's it's a beautiful pink. I think I'm going to dive into Flaming Hot, which is that really pretty red. Ooh, oh, that's really nice. I can tell that's gonna be nice. Let's see. Yeah, that's really pretty. That was a bad swatch, but. Yeah, that's a really nice red. Yeah, that's a really nice red. Let's swatch my rides here, which is this black shade right here. I'm gonna swatch that one. Ooh, that's a nice black. I can already tell that it's gonna be a really nice black. Oh my God. Literally, oh, that's really good. And I wanna swatch, I'm gonna swatch Sleep Paralysis, which is this shade. Let's swatch that one. Ooh, that's so nice. I barely touched that one. Let's do, I'm gonna swatch this one on my thumb. Let's see. Oh my gosh, yes. So freaking pretty. Okay, so these are the swatches. Bottom to the top, it's Food Videos, Trisha, Flamin' Hot, My Rides Here, and Sleep Paralysis. And all of them are absolutely gorgeous. I expected no less because it is Jeffrey's formula and his formula is already extremely good anyway, but still, sickening so we're gonna go ahead and dive into these looks i'm gonna do the dramatic look first because that is what i feel is gonna be the most fun one to do because it's so many colors that i could literally choose from but i think i kind of know what i want to do i'm gonna go ahead and pop on a beanie to pull my bangs back and we're gonna get right into this look beanie is on and now we can jump right into this dramatic look i want to test out the shades either tanacon or diet root beer which are either this one and the, these two shades um i think i want to try diet root beer first just because that looks like that'll be the best shade to be my transition color so we're gonna dip into diet root beer and we're just gonna apply that in my crease now already there is kind of a little bit of kickback but i mean i don't personally i don't really mind it but if you mind the kickback that might be an issue for you personally i don't care as long as the palette performs well i do not mind a little bit of kickback so just a fair warning she's a little powdery but that doesn't mean anything but then again everyone has their own opinions and how they feel about kickbacks so that is up for you to decide. So I'm gonna go ahead, so I'm gonna go ahead. Wait, oh my gosh. So we're gonna prime my eyes before it's a little too late. I'm gonna use the MAC Paint Pot. I can't believe I almost forgot to prime my date on lid. Oh my God, who am I? And now we can pop Diet Ripper into my crease. Okay, so Diet Root Beer actually works really, really well as a, it actually works really well for a transition shade. Part of me really wants to dive into the shade Not A Fact, which is this deep purple color. And I really want to put that on my outer corner and kind of like just blend that out and then just see where that takes us. I'm glad I'm taking little by little because you don't want to get too carried away, especially Jeffrey's because his shadows are super pigmented. So you don't really need a lot. Okay, 
okay i blended it out everything like how i wanted it and it's super super pretty now i'm going to dip into like i said there was a little bit of kickback girl i'm going to dive into my rise here which is the black shade and i'm just going to take that on the outer edge just to deepen and darken everything up Okay, now that we have everything blended out, I think I'm gonna cut my crease a little and pop on a shade. I'm not sure though. I'm debating in between either Conspiracy, which I think would be super sick, or either Trisha. Hmm. I'm gonna cut my crease and we're gonna pop one's Conspiracy on the lid. We popped on Conspiracy. I think I might add just a little bit of Just a Theory, which is this shade right here. I went ahead and added liner off camera and I'm waiting to the very end to apply lashes, but I really do love the look. I think it looks really good. So now we can jump right into the natural look. Now for this natural look, I think I'm gonna go back in with the shade Dye Root Beer. Okay, so I apply a Dye Root Beer in the same spot that I applied on this eye. And from there, I think I'm gonna go into the shade. I think I'm gonna dive into the shade Spiraling, which is this really nice dark shade right here. And I'm gonna swatch that for you guys so you guys can see the color. It's a really nice brown, gray, shimmery color. I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. spiraling and add a little bit of that pigment on the bottom lash line. And now we're going to pop on a little bit of liner and now we're going to pop on some mascara and lashes. So the lashes that I'm going to be using today are the Lily Lashes in the style Miami and I'm going to be using the Mini of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Alright, and this concludes my looks that I created from the Conspiracy palette. We have a more natural look, which I really love. And then we have the dramatic side, which is super, super duper pretty. I am really, really impressed with this palette. I knew it was going to be good either way, but I am still so so very impressed with this palette it is so so pretty i definitely think this is worth your money i definitely am super impressed with this palette definitely think you should really invest in it um not only that it is a collector's item i see it as too because i love shane so much this is worth the 52 dollars that you spend on it all the colors are so so pretty and so pigmented and they just are gorgeous and i'm so proud of shane for creating this beautiful gym with jeffrey i love this and it's definitely going to stay visible in my collection here's what everything looks like beanie off and i really am so obsessed i popped on a little bit of lipstick as well just a nude lip that i feel like could work i hope you all enjoyed this video as much as i did creating these looks for you guys and playing with this palette it is such a beautiful beautiful palette so i hope you all enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below if you purchased the conspiracy palette or if you plan on purchasing the conspiracy palette hope you all enjoyed this video today and i'll see you all in my next one bye guys